Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is t to the power of t and is equals t to the power of 4. We are solving for all values of t that satisfies this equation. Now, if you actually consider this equation, you can see that one of the solutions here is t equals 4. This is simply because if you consider this identity, a to the power of b, and this equals a power c, since the bases are the same, you compare the exponents. So you can see that b equals c. So because of that, t equals 4 is one of the valid solutions. Now, that is not the only solution that we have here. So let's go ahead and solve it step by step to find all the solutions of t that satisfy this equation. f t power t, and this equals t power 4. So I'm going to make use of natural log. I have ln of t power t. And this equals ln of t to the power of 4. Now, if you have ln of a to the power of b, this equals b times ln a. So the 4 will come behind the ln, and the t will come behind the ln. So what we are going to have here is simply t times ln of t, and this equals 4 times ln of t. So t times ln of t will give you t ln t, and 4 times ln t will give you 4 ln t. Now, at this point, we can easily solve this in two different ways. The first way will be to divide each part of this equation by ln t. So we have t ln t equals 4 ln t. So I can divide this by ln t. I divide this by ln t. ln t cancels ln t. ln t cancels ln t. So what we have here is just t equals 4. Now, this is the same solution that we had earlier on. Another method of solving this particular equation is by moving this over here. So I'm going to have t ln t. If you move this over here, this becomes minus 4 ln t and this equals 0. So at this particular point, there's ln t here, there's ln t here, I can factor that out. I have ln t times this divided by ln t is t minus this divided by ln t is 4 and this equals 0. So at this point, I have ln t equals 0 or I have t minus 4 equals 0. So let's start solving with this. If t minus 4 equals 0, that means t equals 4. This is our t1, the same one that we had earlier on. Now let's solve this equation to find the other value of t. That means you have ln t equals 0. Solving for t, I need to eliminate the ln. I have e power ln t. And this equals e power 0. So at this particular point, the e cancels the ln. I have t equals e power 0. And e raised to the power of 0, or any alphabet or number, raised to the power of 0 is 1. So I have t equals 1. If you have a power 0, this equals 1. If you have 2 power 0, this equals 1. The exception to this rule is when you have 0 power 0, and this is not 1. This is actually indeterminate. So that is it. Now the next thing we can do is to solve this using a very different method. And let's see if you are still going to have the two solutions. So I can recopy the problem, which is t power t equals t power 4. Now, what I can do is to divide each of these part of the equation by t power 4. So I have, this is divided by t power 4. This is divided by t to the power 4. This cancel this. I have t power t divided by t power 4 equals 1. Now, if you have a to the power of n divided by a to the power of n, this equals a power n minus n. So we apply this identity right here. 
that means we are going to have t3 prog t minus 4 and this equals 1. So at this point, we make use of natural log. I have natural log of t power t minus 4 and this equals natural log of 1. So from here, I have natural log of t power t minus 4 equals natural log of 1, that is 0. So right now, let's consider this. If you have natural log of a power b, this equals b times natural log of a. So you apply this right here. I have t minus 4. That means this will come behind this t minus 4 times natural log of t equals 0. So what happens is that we are going to equate each of these to 0. I have t minus 4 equals 0. I have ln of t equals 0. This move over here, we have t equals 4. So that is it. And for this, we are going to solve for t. I have e power ln t equals e power 0. So what happens here is that this eliminate this f t equals e power 0 and any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. So you have t equals 1. We see end up having the two solutions that we had earlier on. So the next thing we can do will be to test for each of these values of t and let's check if they are going to satisfy the equation. So we have t equals 4 and we have t equals 1. Now the solution remains t power t equals t, or the equation is t power t equals t power 4. If you start with 4, that means you have 4 power 4 equals 4 power 4. What is the value of 4 power 4? Remember 4 is the perfect square. This is 2 power 2 raised to the power 4, and this equals 2 power 2 raised to the power 4. So from here, I have 2 power 2 times 4, that is 8. And this equals 2 power 2 times 4, that is 8. And 2 to the power of 8 is simply 2, 5, 6. And this equals 2, 5, 6. Left hand side equals right hand side. Now let's consider when t equals 1. We have t equals 1. That means we are simply going to have 1 power 1 equals 1 power 4. And 1 power 1 is 1. And 1 power 4 is 1. Remember? 1 raised to the power of any number is 1, irrespective of the fact that whether it is positive or it is negative. So 1 power 1 is 1. So and 1 power for any number is 1. So we have this equals this. So that is it. And that is the end of the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. Thank you and see you again.